Hello everyone, welcome back. We are here with another fun-filled day of science and I'm so excited to be here with you. So today we are going to continue reading our stories. We are still looking at solids and liquids. And yesterday I asked you to look at some more vocab words that you were discovered in our story. Some things that came to mind throughout this unit. Um, words like <clears throat> um, transparent, bubbly, foamy. I don't have these on our vocab list yet, so let's add them. I began to separate out our words. I have liquids here. I added the words wet. Fluid means it flows around. It forms to their container and it's flowing, like I just said. It can be foamy, bubbly, transparent, that means you can see through it, translucent. Sorry, can't spell. Translucent. So here on our screen, transparent means you can see through it like it's clear. So like I can see through this glass. Translucent means you can still see through it. Excuse me, but there's a little bit of a color or a shade to it. Might be a little bit foggy or cloudy. Okay, so kind of like these, a couple of these, okay? And then another good one would be viscous. And that's where they're of different weights almost. Okay, so we have those words added to our vocabulary list now. Today we're going to read a story called Solids to Liquids and Back Again. Let's begin. Solids can change to liquids, and the liquids can change to solids. Butter is a solid, but if you heat the butter, it melts. It becomes a liquid. This hot liquid chocolate turns solid as it cools. Okay, so they melted chocolate poured it in these molds, and then once it was cold, again, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Once it was cold again, it solidified, it turned back into a solid, and now you have chocolate in a different shape. Liquid water can become a solid if you freeze it. Ice. If you take ice out of the freezer, it melts. It becomes a liquid again. When you heat a candle, the wax melts when it gets hot. The liquid wax can drip over the side of the candle. The wax cools quickly. It turns solid before it falls off the candle. See, so even though it's liquid up here, it turns into a solid quickly and doesn't make it all the way down the candle before it's already cooled down again and is once again firm. What makes solids and liquids change? Heating them up or cooling them down? Okay, we will read this story later. Today I want you to continue thinking about solids and liquids. Yesterday I asked you to tell me about solids. Today I'd like you to tell me about liquids. What, do you, what did you learn about them today? What did you know about them before today? Tell me what you know in your Seesaw page. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.